Skull, uh, for his opinion. He, of course, he has the, the radio program on Bob's uh, network you can check out. It's a great show. Uh, there's a lot of great input on uh, Skull's Golden Age Radio. Uh, it, it's, it's an amazing show, and, and he has a lot of great input. And, and bringing me back uh, all those years ago to the movies that I documented over the years and then a chance to profile, thank you for that. And if anybody else wants to uh, wants to call in, of course, it's uh, 646-475-337. And, uh... hmm. What happened there? Okay, Jonathan Clark, uh, I believe, uh, you there, John? Bob? Are you here? Okay. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. We still uh, here, Bob? Yep, we're still here. Yeah, we have uh, issues with the wireless or something going on there with the with the blog talk or something. Hopefully, it'll straighten out within the last few minutes. Uh, hopefully, Bob, you'll get that show uh, extended. This show extended, and we can go a little bit while. I do have a lot that I do want to get into, and hopefully, we will be able to get it uh, extended a little bit. It's been fun, Bob, and uh, thank you for helping me out with the show and producing it. Uh, it's fun. Hopefully. Uh, within the next couple of days, I'll have it uploaded on YouTube as an, in an archive, so you can kind of go back and, and hear it. It's been fun. I've enjoyed it. Definitely is, and it uh, looks like Skull's back on. He's muted. He is listening in to the show. He'll probably give me the thumbs up when he wants to get back in. I know he has to get himself ready for work. So, okay. So, awesome. Uh, awesome. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're getting things ready here, and... Uh, yeah, we are extended for another half hour here, so uh, we'll be on for, instead of 16 minutes, we'll be on for 46 minutes. Okay, did give me the big thumbs up. Yeah, hey guys. So he's back with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, the holidays, so you expect troubles between Skype and BTR and everything else. <laughs> oh, I told you, uh, the, second, the second of my six-hour marathon, oh, and I can go up again at 12 midnight to do the... Uh, do things with the traditions that it normally had. Oh my God, I had nothing but stalling and uh, everything else happening with BTR that just set me off my game and uh, what I was gonna was gonna play. But uh, uh, yeah, and yeah. I, I'd have hopped in last night, except for I had no internet access last night. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm one of those that uh, you know normally traditionally starts with. Uh, with a certain song, and I end with a certain song, and those were the only two things I really kept in there. After that, everything else was just to go. I mean, and I was and the only thing going through my mind was, thank God I had those uh, those twenty five minute to half hour windows of uh, some old time radio I was able to play yeah. of some of the Christmas shows. You glad I get lazy and leave those on once in a while, huh? <laughs> yeah, just so I can steal them. <laughs> Who do we have listening in the chat room that we can wish Merry Christmas to? Oh, well, Lisa unfortunately left the chat room. We do have a few guests in there. Yeah. Thank That's you to everybody listening, by the way. Thank you to everybody, and I hope everybody out there is having a good Christmas. I really do. Uh, it's been a very opinionated uh, last little while here on the show. And if you have an opinion on anything that we've talked about, we've talked about a lot. we talked about Ariana Grande. Uh, we shot on John Cena. We talked about the PlayStation Network. Uh, we talked about Disney. We talked about Nickelodeon. We shot on Miranda Cosgrove. I talked about how people overspend. I talked about how it was over-commercialized. There's a lot of stuff we talked about. Uh, so if you want to talk about any of it, you can call in. Give us your opinion on the merchandise of Nickelodeon. Disney buying Marvel, I'm pissed off about that. I think they're going to ruin something really good. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with that, but that's something interesting. I know that the Disney Infinity 2.0 video game uh, has been uh, sold quite a bit. Uh, uh, that, I don't know that what blew the off the shelves. What, what, what do you think of that? Uh, that that in Disney Infinity uh, with Marvel characters has flown off the shelves. We couldn't keep them in stock in my store. And, it's amazing. Uh, no, I actually think, due to the fact that Stan Lee's basically retiring... But he still has creative input with him. Uh, I think it's actually a good thing Disney got Marvel instead of somebody, say, like Paramount. Because Paramount doesn't know what to do with a franchise. They haven't had one in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Paramount hasn't created anything interesting in years. Right. And uh, 
you know, the other option would have been Sony, and the Sony influence on Marvel wouldn't be a good thing. No, I agree with you totally. You know, and, and Disney's already taken the reins with the Star Wars films. That's actually cost me a little bit, personally, because uh, they announced the director for the next Star Wars film, not the one that's about to come out, but the next one, they've already announced the director. And he was DreamWorks' top action guy, and he had me lined up to do a voice in a, a DreamWorks animation. <laughs> but he shelled the film to do Star Wars. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, to do Star Wars, duh. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even ask you, Skull, what uh, what you got for Christmas or how your Christmas was. It wasn't bad. Uh, my niece got me this killer uh, lock blade knife that's covered with skulls. And uh, <laughs> obviously, yeah, and and a uh, skeleton hand pendant that you pull the middle finger and it's a knife. <laughs> I ended up spending it with uh, Australian girls between the ages of eight and ten. <laughs> oh, the Lord! Which was uh, which was kind of fun. Uh, and but the, 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 uh, the downer of it all was my nephew. The downer of Christmas this year for me was my nephew didn't get to spend the actual Christmas with me. Uh, he's actually with his dad tonight, who we dedicated the show to. Who was actually in the intro? If you heard it, Skull, which was kind of cool. He kind of just showed up on our show. Uh, one of my shows with Bob uh, ever, ever since uh, earlier this year, and uh, he's been making a scattered appearance, so hopefully we'll see him again. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, buddy, by the way. Uh, it's just, it was hard for me because this was the first Christmas without my dad, given yeah. the circumstances of his death. And then, yeah, I've, lo I've lost you know, a, few, he, a few friends that way, so I know how you how you're yeah. feeling, man. It's, uh, it's, it hasn't been easy. And the thing is, the death ratio of people committing suicide uh, is, is exceptionally up uh, from what it was years ago. The years ago, you'd never hear about this kind of thing. And, and yeah. now you're hearing about it like, I think it's once a week somebody does it now. And yeah. It's in different ways. So it's, it's, it's terrible because you, you know about it. You know about it, but you don't really know what the reason is why they did what they did. And that's yeah. the unfortunate thing about that. Yeah, I had a friend of mine, successful contractor in L.A., uh, just went up to the Hollywood Hills on Christmas Eve, and boom, one to the head. And that was it, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. that was and, the trip. And, and, you, and you, don't, you don't hear about it. You don't hear about that kind of thing, you know. And then the worst thing is, after it happens, there are so many people talking about what you're doing, uh, you you post a picture of yourself on Facebook or Twitter, and they turn it around. If you're spotted drinking out in a in a bar, you're an alcoholic because of what happened. You know, it's ridiculous. And mm -hmm. give me a break. You know, it, it happened. It doesn't mean that the individual that it happens to is headed down a precarious road because that's what happened. It's just what happened. And the, just because that happened to me, that doesn't mean that I'm going away forever. And nobody's going to hear about it, hear about me anymore. Like I said, you know, it's just something that happened, and you know, you just had to be thankful for what's around you. Like right now, I'm staring at a gigantic Hulk plush toy that my nephew has, and it, it's just, you know, that's what you have to look ahead for. You know, the fact that you have somebody in your life to to, to be there for, and it's just, I think, why are so many people giving up? I don't know. I don't know what the reason is for it. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's just a, a tough thing to get inside somebody's head when they're in that situation. It is, it is, and and the uh, the, the sad thing is, we'll never know the answer to that. We'll never know the real reasons why people do. We just make assumptions. Like we sit here as as, as radio on radio and. and you know, with writing columns as columnists, radio hosts and columnists, and we comment on something. We comment on John Cena and why we d agree or disagree with why he's been labeled as the man and why I hate the idea that he's the best and why you believe he's the best. But we're only making what? assumptions as to why we believe he's the yeah. best. 
We yeah, don't I'm know not what saying he's the best. Is. I'm just saying that right now he's their best option to put butts in seats. Right. Yes. Ten years from now, that may not be the case. We right. make assumptions on why um, why Ariana Grande and Jeanette McCurdy don't get along. We're only assuming why we think they don't get along. We don't know why. Yeah, but if I mean, here, Jeanette is the closest thing Nickelodeon's had to a meltdown. You know, uh, other yeah. than uh, Britney Spears' sister. <laughs> yeah, Jamie Lynn Spears. I remember her from years ago on Zoe 101. Me and Bob uh, did how many commentaries on her back in the day in 2006? How many commentaries did we do on her? Holy uh, Jesus. Oh, well, God, why you don't yeah. Trailer trash money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, man. There's, there's just, there, regardless of what what we think, there are people out there that have, yeah. There, are, there are so many people out there that uh, will never know know what uh, could have become of uh, certain shows and certain people with Nick. To me, to me, the biggest travesty of someone not being pushed right. Especially at a time when you really could have used him was Drake Bell. Yep. Uh, and he was never a disaster in its own right. And Drake they, and Josh was a good show. It was a good show, but Drake Bell, they were wanting to sell him in a big way. And Disney, that, that that's also at the same time when Disney decided they were going to, uh, they needed to discover someone to counteract that, and they came out with the Jonas Brothers. And oh, yeah. uh, if you listen to the Jonas Brothers, I'm not going to knock them as far as their talent goes. <laughs> as far as their ta- 